Hello, welcome to Fermi CG. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, this kind of get uh, the motion graphics text effects using Autodesk Maya. And this is the final output after compositing in After Effects. So After Effects is just used for uh, creating this kind of uh, color correction and a uh, little bit of uh, glare and some some. Uh, uh, some curve or post-production settings so this one is the final output from Maya so all the animation and the text effects and, uh, and the are uh, created using Maya so just uh, jump to Maya first this is the scene file change anything inside this scene so just select uh, this one you can see the change text here Select the main text and go to attribute editor. Go to type. You can change any font, uh, any text, any text. See, that's working. And you can um, get uh, the animation here. Or uh, you can change the font also. Uh, changing the font may be a little. See. Uh, you need to adjust uh, the font size a bit. This kind of things I uh, can do and uh, go to the subtext also. Text, font, etc. So, this one uh, is a cool setup for creating motion graphics. Uh, you Once you create the scene and uh, you can uh, replace the text, uh, whatever text you need, or you can change things. And I will show you one more thing also. If you want to change uh, this one, these lines, you have to go to see. You can see that there is two mesh nodules so that's for and uh, that's from the motion graphics modules for Maya. I can see there is a BG curve mesh. You can turn off, turn on, you can adjust. See, and uh, if select this one, and you can adjust. Uh, the points also you can see a lot of ad adjustment here you can do scaling see a lot of things you can create and you can add more uh, uh, fields or more uh, attributes here so this is cool setup and i will show you how to create this scene from scratch and uh, okay now take a look uh, at how this scene is going to create so go to file new scene and create first of all we need to create uh, the curve so go to curve and uh, we will go to top view you cannot see um, the settings here because i'm going to use uh, the viewport 2 directx 11 and this is a little bit tricky to show all this information here and select the curve this one ep curve tool click make a four point like this and if jump back here i can see the curve is already here go to modify convert now curve to be easier go to control vertex and now you can adjust the curve press w make uh, the adjustment whatever you want okay so this is going to be the the main tool for uh, our animation our, our all the things will flow using this curve so first we need to create the strokes not to do that go to modeling tool go generate we are going to use the paint effects module for maya so go to select uh, the get brush command and select default paint okay you can double click or just close so it will create a stroke here okay now into curve utilities select attach brush to curve that is going to attach first we need to select the curve curve utilities attach brush to curve so that will create a curve here uh, the paint effects curve here we can close this one and you can see uh, this one is our curve. I'll go to the default paint stroke. You can change this one to mesh and see You can adjust uh, the global scale value 
so make it uh, two here we can change this letter and here the stroke shape this one we are going to create and uh, animation you can see the max clip you can use this one to zero to one make the animation so first change uh, this 24 fps you can keep it that if it 24 fps or 25 30 whichever you want and to keep uh, this 24 for now you can make it 200 or 250 frames depending on uh, so i'm going to use 250 frames and uh, maybe around 100 uh, make this one set key to one and max clip to zero set key now we have this animation going on okay leave it that like that and uh, we need to do one more thing we need to modify convert paint effects uh, to polygons so you can click that uh, click the options here you need to change the code the, this one maybe it will be always off you need to make code output so you will get a code output here and now if we create see we have our animation now create a material for this one create assign a new material go to Arnold shader standard surface change the name to golden and select the preset gold replace and change the roughness to 0.35 you can save the scene you can make uh, this one text cute uh, zero one okay now we have uh, our car tool what we need is to make these uh, different strokes so, so aligned strokes or distributed clones or whatever it called in order to do that go to effects mesh here you can click that and you can see there is a lot of option here first you need to select this to geometry type to mesh and you can always use uh, a name here I can whichever name you want the default will be the mesh you can use that one okay create you can change the name here so I'm going to use uh, stroke mesh okay so that will create a stroke here We change to the instancer now we can turn off this one okay we don't need the time module delete this one yes okay now we have our time uh, the animated stroke now we go to distribute mode we can change this to five center distribution change this one here also y to 20 so maybe two five okay so this is our scene and we can create a little bit of variation here so text will flow from here to here and you can adjust all these things here scale value okay just save this scene now what if we need to change the stroke width so go to the stroke you want to change this one you can always change the stroke width also so that depending on you how to create okay now we need to create the floating particle effects in order to do that we need to create another mesh module so go to here uh, create create mesh network or you can go here and create a mesh network here okay just create a mesh network and let's say we need to create 
uh, select the mesh so before that we need to create uh, the the instance or mesh for the effects uh, the this kind of this kind of um, shapes so we'll create a text module here could create type and this will be this one and uh, we can change all these things okay font size to one maybe a little bit point one point two five point five is also good geometry you can have the display enable extrusion here you can see I'll just make this one okay this one is the geometry module we are going to use the geometry shape and you can always type here whichever this one hash this one okay good type mesh change this one to musical now just select this type here and go to a preset save type preset type this as uh, musical save this attribute preset now we need to add more things so go create type another type preset musical replace and you always you have to change the extrude like this okay now in the window type character map now we can uh, choose whichever phone uh, you are going to use and you can use uh, some kind of animation select that uh, some kind of musical notes here copy that go to type here okay now we have this symbol and again change this to musical uh, create again create type the basic uh, shape for instancing so these are we can change this name to musical this one also this one also now select these four and go to mesh create mesh network network name we are going to use musical mesh okay now we can see uh, we have the mesh here shading wireframe on sheet you can see uh, the first one is applied on the network we are going to use this this four and control G for group musical knots now in order to uh, make all these things select this one musical mesh and you can see this one is our uh, editor and this one is linear we need to change this to grid and you can see the grid here we don't need z we need y you can make center distribution so it will be centered here you can make uh, this one five if you want but three is enough for the tutorial purpose so now we have our object here I, in the x-axis I need more maybe 10 and also distance also 10 okay now we need uh, all these nodes so this is just the first one so how to get the other things other shapes so go to the this one stroke mesh uh, not the this one musical mesh go to the plus sign here and select the ID node 
so this is going to create an ID type so it can automatically count how many mesh uh, shapes are inside the, that network so it created ID type for five and we have all these shapes and we can change this one to random see or oh, cycle cycle means that it is going to cycle each and everything so we can fix that you can change the ID here one two three four so linear you can change the ID count then to use the random here and we can to change anything uh, inside this one and another thing we need to create these uh, shapes should be followed within the car so select uh, add a node here also go we can find a car so we created a car and this is going to ask for a car select this one middle mouse drag and here so now we have a car animation okay now okay now we change this uh, to local so it follow uh, the car and th there is uh, some adjustment we need to create so just make a little bit slower animation so it's going from here okay now we can adjust the step value now we need time step variation velocity random velocity noise and if we play you can see some kind of dynamic animation is going from now You can always uh, play with the, these things okay now we need to create another tool named uh, there will be signal so select that now we have much much interesting animation going on Can adjust the position a little bit z-axis what we are going to animate is the rotation so we can change this to 800 now we can get some kind of random why this happen because we need this can adjust maybe two so we get a nice and simple animation here and this one also much much high because because of this noise and if we see now we can also use handled
okay now go to the dispute you can always have okay now we have all this uh, animation created now we need to save the scene uh, we finish the mesh net editor here also and we can change this to instance so the animation will be very much faster Okay, now we need to create the text for uh, uh, the main purpose. So, we're going to create type. So, the same setup here. Uh, we are going to change the text element to center, font size to maybe 4 maybe two okay two is good and change this to Fermi CD and you can always have a lot of animation option here but I'm not going to show you all these things and uh, here you can change uh, the frame number or all these things that will be in the, in the tutorial so here you have to choose the curve resolution and uh, here we have our extra distance so change this one okay we are going to make this uh, a smoother one so select uh, any of this but it, it's not going to apply so just make offset little bit offset okay that's good and if you want you can create uh, the bevel also so sorry Enable bevel, use the same settings here and bevel offset to something and uh, bevel value also. So this will create a beveled uh, effect here. If you want you can use or you can just turn it off. Just uh, use uh, the default shape and default extrusion and we need to increase the resolution to seven okay that's okay now save the scene and now we need to create um, this text should be follow with the curve so in order to do that go here select our car and go to animation or you can just use uh, no you need to go to animation mode go here there will be a default use a curve warp and you can see now uh, the text is warped along the curve we can see there is an offset just use that one and make sure the keep length is turned on otherwise it will be warped like this so keep length and you can offset animation so you know to make the animation so make from here 40 set a key and then maybe around 130 it should come here mm -hmm. Maybe we can make here 
okay so set the key now do the same thing for uh, the next text before that we need to duplicate this curve control D so keep here we are going to create a camera here view create a camera from view lock the camera change this one to render cam always arrange things inside Maya so you can see um, where your camera is panels perspective render cam and lock your camera and if uh, change this one okay now we have our camera there you can always adjust uh, this film get down all these things and that uh, we'll do later okay now we need to make this one w and see we need to change this here another create first make the select the from ACG here go to type make a preset save type preset you can make main save create type preset use the main replace so it would be from ACG you can do the same thing here extra distance to small very very small solution three change solution type and extra offset a little bit and the text should be presence always change the phone size to one Now we need to change this one also. One five, no, one two. Okay. Now we have our presence. Now select here, uh, you can change, rename this one to main text, this one to sub text, and group them control G to change text here. And move this one here now select the subtext and the curve to do same curve verb you can turn off this okay now we have the present here see now we can go here from 150 set a key you can make this one out set key so now we can adjust all these things, all those parameters here from ECG presence we have and go to panel render here we have this one. Now we need to create the um, um, the randomness. Uh, so I just forgot to add this uh, some randomness for the musical mesh in Stencer. And so select this one mesh, mesh editor, go here, musical mesh, and you can change uh, this one also. You can add a random here. So we don't need the position. If you want, you can just always adjust the random position. But we already have a random position here. Okay, a little bit. What we are new to is uniform scale and uh, turn this off and change this scale to 0.1 maybe see now we have a randomized scale so you can have a rotation also if you want 
that are already we created there. Now uh, we uh, we need to. Uh, create the materials so we already have uh, the base material uh, so here I think uh, I created a material for this one we can hide all these strokes and the musical notes control G uh, set up okay Say this one first select all this text right click as say next 16 material select the golden and also this one musical notes select all this one as seen existing material golden and you can see there is a little bit of option here uh, this because uh, from uh, the, the curve warping created little distortion you can adjust always adjust the resolution here now we have our text and object having this color just said see now all these things and uh, maybe where is the stroke uh, stroke mesh I say in existing material golden okay now we already have um, the gold material if you don't have this one you can always create a uh, Arnold shade H create uh, sorry go to I click uh, say new material I will select whichever object you want and you can go to shader select a standard surface and select the preset which you want now go to the hyper shade did it unused so you have only the golden here now we need to create another thing also perspective go here and uh, if you want one more thing i want to show you now the mesh is uh, setting inside uh, this object so go to mesh mesh editor and we need, need to change uh, this distribution so select a transform you can always have a transform in the z-axis move it to backward also this one make a transform move it a little bit backward so your texture will be in the sand the front and all the things inside uh, that will be the back now we need to create a bg so go polymodeling create a plane change uh, this to subdivision one 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 and press scale Rotate, rotate to 90 degree, change this to BG, make this back to the back, maybe a little bit scaling also, make like this one enough. Assign new material, shader, standard surface can use bg underscore preset make a rubber replace and uh, we don't need a specular here just need to select any color you want okay the rendering to be the hardware render my hardware render that is a uh, good rendering and uh, first of all we need to change my hardware you can use gb instancing all these things and uh, there is one thing is we can speak ambient occlusion and uh, also there will be anti-aliasing you can multi-sample 
under options and uh, all these things you can adjust okay now if you render the program sometimes uh, you won't see <coughs> sorry you won't see the mesh instancer so you can always select here the motion blur and if you enable that uh, it will show and one more thing now we don't have the reflection and refraction uh, going on no refraction just the reflection or any lighting here so we need to create that so that's very easy because uh, because of the Arnold setup we can render uh, go to Arnold create lights use a skydome light and change this to HDR select this one a file node and you need to select a select an HDRI map uh, you can easily download it from uh, any website and uh, free website I think hdrsky.com HDR free that kind of things you can use uh, any HDRI and so I have a charge harvest low B blur and use that one okay now if we fear render or we will get some um, kind of that's I think that's a good one and we need to get this one so this will be the final output uh, this kind of uh, tone mapping we are going to use you can always use uh, first set, save the scene go to the render settings to the common tab use color management here or you can always adjust in the after effects or the post production application you are using and go to use the post production technique in the after effects so set up here just to rename blah 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 whatever you want so you can rename this one any rename that doesn't matter and you can change this to hash ext padding depending on how much you want you can use four that is default or three is enough because we don't have much frames start frame end frame 250 and now did it space um, only use the render cam and change this one ht1080 okay close panel perspective render cam view camera settings use a resolution gate and also safe sorry safe title so you can see now we have our arrangement and you can always adjust the camera if you want and just maybe in the final select the camera towards this and then the attribute editor change the production and the cam to TV projection and a little bit here and lock the camera now we are ready to go and just render again okay now you see all our background and all strokes are gone why because render settings and you need enable this one enable and if you render again you will get and the stro strokes and the mesh instancer and uh, we will use real size okay this one okay good now save the scene you can go render 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 sequence uh, whichever project you are set uh, this my is going to render on that side or you can always set here set project here so go after setting that render just click the render sequence button and it is going to render so I already rendered the scene so I'm going to show you how this is going to get uh, adjusted in the so this is a little bit changed uh, the font and everything is changed so this basically the scene is the same 
Um, so this is the actual render output we got. Uh, so assume I'm just delete all these things. So all these things delete. Okay, just double click and uh, here is the text uh, we rendered. 0, 0, 0 and use PNG sequence import and uh, you need to change the inner part you need to change whichever format as so 24 if you are using 24 frame per second okay drag and drop here it will create a new composition okay now we can see this is not color corrected if you if we already clicked here and the render settings uh, it is going to be the color corrected one if this is the raw image and we can create uh, the adjustment here go here uh, create an adjustment layer you can rename this one sorry rename you can see z or whatever you want to change that one first we need to search for color profile our output profile should be srgb and input should be aces academy so you will get uh, something similar in the maya okay now we have our animation we can add more color correction and all these things so just first use a curve use that one on top of this the color profile you can click click here also you can just a little bit darkness so you get a uh, small color correction here now we are going to create a glow effect create a glow and we don't need that much glow maybe the threshold should be very low 90 above low radius you can always increase density here okay depending on your scene lighting and all these things you can adjust okay now we need two more adjustment that is one sweep use the light sweep here so it will create a sweep here and uh, you can adjust the width should be more and the shot to be the shape to be smooth okay shape should be here in the starting you can see the edge you cannot you don't need the edge thickness select uh, the center and click a keyframe go to here make it here okay now we have animation now we can create one more thing that is called a lens flare add change this to 150 and create make it something here okay click the flare sender change this one maybe here okay now we have our animation or this kind of effects and one more thing we can create vignetting that you can make on top of here also you can increase the amount okay now we have much interesting effect you can always adjust uh, and uh, lens flare 